So how did you sleep last night? I slept all right until it started raining in my face. Last time on Sales and Tales, we had some crazy weather. We learned about wind tides and our first day of boat owning. Well, it was a little stressful. In this video, we are going to custom make a mattress to fit the V-berth of our Catalina 30. And all you need for this is an electric knife and a Sharpie and a mattress of your choice, a foam mattress of your choice and we just happen to have this one sitting in storage. First night in the V-Birth, how, how, how hard was it to get into bed tonight? Uh, well, with the dog bed, in a way, it was pretty hard. We'll see how it goes. The addition of the queen-size mattress we chopped up seems to be very comfortable. Yeah, awesome. Cut down on headroom, but... Uh, yeah, exactly. I know I hit my head on here, too. Do you leave me in the room? How did you sleep last night? I slept all right until it started raining in my face. Then I didn't sleep so great after that. <laughs> so last night we were sleeping really well on our new mattress, but in the middle of the night it started raining and it turns out that the forward hatch leaks and it started to rain in our faces, which really sucked. <laughs> so now we're on our way to Lowe's and we are going to get some materials to um, tape it up so that, you know, we can sleep now. Smallest one he got, so we can put it over the hatch, tape it down, so we won't get any more rain in your face. And then I can get a good night's sleep. Exactly. And there it is, all taped up. Now we're just waiting on a part. We ordered a gasket, and um, well, we hope that that will fix the leak.
In the meantime, we still had plenty of work to do. And we kept busy with things like changing out the topping lift, adding some smoke alarms, and changing out our cockpit drains. The old hose that came out, as you can see it, uh... Wow. Or should I say, what was left of them. Then we changed out these old lines in the Traveler. They were pretty gross. I mean, if you look closely, it looks like something's actually growing on them. And after that, replaced halogen lights with LEDs, and then, finally, our parts came in. So the front hatch in our Catalina 30 is a Lumar, and here is the difference between the old and the new gasket. I used Gorilla Glue to adhere the two open ends, and then we were ready to put it all back together. Putting in a new gasket did help with the leaking, but the hatch still leaks. So I guess the next step is to rebed the hatch, and well, that's a project for another day. We're gonna try out our new grill. Well, our old new grill. New to us. We'll put it on our magma grill we found in one of the lazarettes, which is charcoal. These tomatoes would be so good. Looks good. And there's the devil laying outside of my seat. How's it going? Our dinner turned out to be absolutely delicious, but while cooking dinner, we quickly realized that cooking with charcoal just isn't for us. So the next day, we went out and got a propane grill. Well, that's all we have for today. If you like these videos, hit that subscribe button, and you won't miss out on any future ones. If you would like to help support this journey, we now have a Patreon page. Check it out in the link below. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like this video. It really helps us out. See you next time. Tessie, come here. Tessie. Where's Bobby? Where's Bobby? Get him. Get him. No. <laughs> Get him.